Hello and welcome to another Saturday Surprise Show. I'm Devin, with me is Billy and David. Woo! Greetings to everyone! And guys, just to continue on from last week, let's look at Superman specifically and 15 <laughs> of his weirdest powers. <laughs> Yeah, who's so how much I know about Superman? All, all, all he had was the heat vision, <laughs> X-rays, and the breath. That's and the yeah. strength. That's all I thought he had. No, he apparently <laughs> he's the master of making up superpowers on the spot. Oh, almost, almost Goku like, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you believe? At first, all he had was his strength. Yep. Yeah. And then they just kept adding and yeah. adding. It's yeah. a game of bullshit out of superhero. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. That phrase faster than a bullet's powerful. Those were literally his only powers at first. <laughs> so, moving on. First thing we have is Super Bad <laughs> <Man. laughs> Oh, God. We're really off to a good oh, start. Like, <laughs> so, it would be good with those, like, guess the beats of the jar contests. Oh, yeah. Oh, he cheats at that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> See, man, this seems like a parlor trick more than anything else. Yeah. So, like, 70% of his powers? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, super... Writers tend to have their own take on how smart Superman really is. If he can move incredibly fast, he can also think incredibly fast? <laughs> Apparently so, and at one point, the hero even re relied on a skill dubbed Super Mathematics... We're not convinced that his bean trick is something any garden variety math whiz couldn't manage. But Lois sure seemed impressed. That's not how that works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, any mathematicians out there, when you start reading through this, uh, comment below where you start to notice the fallacies. <laughs> oh, so he's counting beans. I don't think you need super anything to count friggin' beans. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to have to count manually 32,000 beans. Yeah. Also, that seems to be a gross <laughs> misuse of that power. Excuse me, waste. <laughs> <laughs> Next is the super fantrialism that we were accustomed to now. Oh, yeah. Golden and Silver Age. Awesome. <laughs> Returnal was all the rage in the days of radio serials mm -hmm. and pulp heroes with green, like Green Horn and Sha the Shadow. <laughs> Memorable <laughs> characters. Yeah. The Shadow knows. <laughs> For a time, that popularity was also translated to superhero comics. Several stories saw Superman make a use of his super ventriloquism <laughs> ability. Where he could use his powerful vocal cords and project his voice across a room or through a window with flawless accuracy. <laughs> Perfect for being a super dick. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, just, just like the little Superman dummy and uh, he's on the road. It's not even the ability itself that was bizarre, it's the fact that even Crypto could make use of it. Apparently, Kryptonian pets are fully capable of mimicking a human voice. It's a bit alarming to com contemplate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that the dog can speak English, but yeah. he has super ventriloquism to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. So, like a parrot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why can't you speak normally if you can just use the ventriloquism? <laughs> Feels like an extra step. Yeah, you're literally Scooby-Doing this. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, so I guess that's a way to write around, like... Him being Clark Ken's, so they're never in the same room. Yeah. They always just pretend Clark's in the bathroom when yeah. Superman's around. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> that could work. Yep. Also helps that Lois is an idiot. Yeah. And it helps that most of his world is an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one would notice me if I put my glasses off. <laughs> yeah. Next is Super Weaving. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Oh, jeez, we're already scraping the ball up, bottom already. <laughs> you just don't know when you just need to crochet something, right? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how many times you use that one. <laughs> Apparently, Superman has something of an aspiring fashion designer. 
maybe it's this whole superhero thing doesn't work out. He can take up his flair up for deciding winning counts at high cyber speed and try to out project, project runway or something. Uh, try out for project yeah. runway, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the newspaper business is going slow. Yeah. <laughs> just Should that be an app by now or something? <laughs> <laughs> Next is we have super shape-shifting and super telepathy. Okay. Are we entering God mode right now, Superman? <laughs> Superman will place these two bizarre and unrelated abilities in the same issue. After being kidnapped by a race of strange white aliens... Superman revealed that he can influence the minds of others just by concentrating hard. <laughs> Basically, he's a Jedi yeah. on top of everything else. <laughs> <laughs> wow, those are pretty original looking aliens in their body. But this adventure only grew stranger as Superman physically rearranged his face to make himself resemble one of these aliens. His skin may be unbreakable, but that apparently doesn't stop him from rearranging it like Putty when the mood strikes him. Oh my god, he's actually doing it like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, the universe does what I will it to. Yeah, that's Putty my true power. power. Super Mini- Oh my god, this is gonna be great. <laughs> the Super Mini-Me generation. <laughs> I should call him Mini Superman. <laughs> I'm gonna love the image for this one. <laughs> um, that's what I'm holding out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the, There have been stories where Superman's body has been duplicated or split into red and blue variation. The ability to generate a clone may be a little strange, but it's a useful power nonetheless. Just ask multiple men. <laughs> <laughs> he fires them from his hand. That, that is, is awesome. great. That is hilarious. <laughs> Who needs heat vision where he can just shoot out little versions of himself? Oh, guys, go kick their ass. <laughs> However, Superman displays this very unusual and incredibly specific mm -hmm. take of this power of duplication. We can tamper on the game the ability to shoot a miniature version of himself out of his hand. The comic in question saw Superman lose most of his powers. Luckily, no problem he encountered that day. No problem he encountered that day was one he couldn't that couldn't be handled by the ability to fire a mini Superman at it. <laughs> in the end, Mini Supers sacrificed itself to save its big twin. Restoring Superman's normal powers in the process. Can some, like, comic genius explain to me the logic behind that whole story? Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like to understand Yeah, more. Just why? Like, I know it, it was a slow mother's whatever, but... My god. <laughs> Super caller ID. Yeah, this would be Silver Age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so already right. established that Superman has the ability to control the minds of others, but it turns out he can also read minds. Moreover, he can somehow sense the identity of whom, whoever is calling him on the phone. <laughs> is he reading the phone's mind? <laughs> <laughs> like a human brain and a telephone are the same damn thing, yeah. right? <laughs> well, it's not revealed to me that the caller is. My editor, Perry White. What? <laughs> Good use of that power, Superman. <laughs> I mean, this is before Call of Duty, so I can see why it would be useful on oh, Tony phones. Oh, yeah, it's useful in that day and age, yeah. but the fact that it's he's yeah. using telepathy it's for it. Yeah. So it's just like, why? <laughs> and like, he just, he just magically knows. Doesn't seem to touch the phone, nothing. Yeah, just, just, like, just look at it. Yeah. That's all the power he needs. That, or if it's one of those, like, Perry always calls him at 8 o'clock and it's 8 o'clock. It's like, oh, my phone's ringing. Oh, it's Perry. Yeah, it's Perry. Like, <laughs> yeah, don't need super anything for that. that. <laughs> yeah. This power is pretty much lost its usefulness in today's era of caller ID and smartphones, but at least we can rest easy knowing Superman will never be tricked into dealing with a telemarketer. Now that or one... <laughs> that that would come in handy. Wait. Super Amnesia Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, 
I'll um, read that again. Super Amnesia Kiss. Oh my god, it was in one of the movies. Oh god. That's awesome. Usually one of the most infamous moments in generally well-regarded Superman 2 came during the climax as Superman delivered a passionless kiss to Lois Lane that somehow wiped away all traces of her memory of his secret identity and the previous few days. We can only assume he used his heat vision to burrow into her brain and burn away a tiny portion of her hippocampus. What is he, some kind of dream eater or something? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like an eldritch horror thing. Yeah. But for those accusing the film of being unfaithful to the source material, the same thing actually happened in the Superman comics on our decades previous. Lois tended to spend 97% of her waking life in those days trying to expose Superman's identity. When Super Ventriloquism fails, a Super Amnesia cook is usually the most reliable method. Ladies? <laughs> to go with that, though, he has Super DNC. Oh, God. Perfect! They go right next to each other. Yeah. Woo them with your dancing and make them forget with your kids. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many women have brain damage now because of that. <laughs> or they think fake and less than you know. Yeah, that's why everyone in Metropolis is a moron. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wait, even the guys? <laughs> you heard what I said. <laughs> maybe the loser was on to something. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe because of her surrendering call back. <laughs> Sometimes super strength isn't enough. Sometimes you need a little finesse to go along <laughs> with it. Sips proves that he can be a master of the dance floor when the situation calls for it. He uses super strength and his hot, sexy moves to generate vibrations and disarm a series of hidden bombs. And he didn't even have to break cover. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> What is that? What are you doing? This is the equivalent of the Spider-Man 3 the dance. emo yeah. Peter dance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Except it actually does something. It's yeah. going annoy you. <laughs> <sighs> Our only question now is, if Superman can do this, why hasn't Michael Flatley become a superhero? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super eating! Ron says again. <laughs> Superman's powers come with, from his abilities to store and process yellow solar radiation. Mm -hmm. As he's essentially a human plant, he doesn't actually need to eat food. Not that this has any has stopped him from showing off his ability to cram incredible amounts of food mm -hmm. down his indestructible stomach. Do I want it? Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's very close to the M. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just enough so we won't get sued. Sued, yeah. We're just gonna have a little extra thing. Just... Yeah. <laughs> I also like, apparently he need Apparently the second he stops eating, he's gonna automatically starve to death. Yeah. Mm. I... That... <laughs> How would that even work? Nothing. Like I'm <laughs> sure that you have to read the comic to understand what's... Going on with soups here. Like, <laughs> I'm sure it would be ridiculously stupid. Yeah. We're disappointed that this issue never led to a Superman vs. Jughead yeah, crossover yeah. special. Of course it would. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't. I mean, if it did happen. Yeah. I would like to see it. Yeah. Super cellophane. Oh, that damn thing. Yep, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Among many other things, Superman 2 taught us that Soup's costume is about more than just form. It's also got soup useful traps and gadgets. <laughs> like it needs it. Yeah. Like his removable S-shield that turns into a giant cellophane trap. It managed to inconvenience none of all three seconds. So that's something. <laughs> yeah, that's always a useful thing to use, I guess. Oh, yeah, I like to picture this as the filmmaker's way of making up for the fact that there were no Batman movies to be had in the early 80s. A cellophane as shield seemed like something Adam West Batman would appreciate. That's debatable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Super Diamond produce production. Okay. <laughs> Superman 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're taking the worst powers and putting them in the movies. Yeah. 
Here's another peculiar ability that fans mock the Christopher Reeves movies for, but actually hails from the comics too. Mm -hmm. Superman has demonstrated the ability to crush a lump of coal with such force that it turns into a diamond. Tell me he uses his hands. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping not buck cheeks. <laughs> I was thinking mouse. I don't know why you want butt cheeks, man. I mean, that's impressive for the lady. Yeah, I thought like, you was going to close your eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think a different time would, time would come out if you did that. <laughs> We're not sure which is more impressive about this bill. The fact that the diamond is only marginally smaller than the coal that formed it. For the, or the fact that it emerges already pre-cut. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's what happens when you can manipulate molecules. <laughs> Apparently. Super Force Field. Post-Crisis Superman. After Crisis on Infinite Earths created a more streamlined and grounded version of the DCU. Grounded being suggestive. <laughs> yeah. Writer slash artist John Bryan said about revamping Superman... For the hip, discriminating audience of the 1980s. Oh, please no. <laughs> yeah. Somewhat misguided, Brian made it his mission to prove pseudoscientific explanations on how Superman's various powers work. That really doesn't work. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Yes. Yeah. We're not even going to see the force field. We're just going to assume he does it. Yeah. The result was that Superman gained the ability to generate a constant electropsychic, that's not a thing, yeah, yeah. force field around his body. This force field accounted for his invulnerability and his flight. It even explained why his costume never seemed to get damaged in Clark's many tussles with the likes of Bizarro and Parasite. So kind of like electromagnetic pulse or something? Yeah. <laughs> ah, sorry, just using nonsensical words now. I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> There's a valiant effort to ground a larger-than-life character in reality. But these days, DC writers tend to just rely on the explanation, because he's Superman. Yeah, yeah sounds like the better idea. Yeah. Super empathy. Okay. Oh, jeez, the fourth one. <laughs> <laughs> The Christopher Reeve Superman era was capped off with one of the hero's most unlikely powers ever. During his battle with Nuclear Man, Superman showed the ability to reconstruct broken objects by firing a beam from his eyes. He fixed the shattered Great Wall of China with these entropy reversing eye beams. I can't share the trailer, but oh, we'll Lord. see. Yeah, it'll, it'll just be ridiculous. Considering that Superman had to scream a lot and spin the planet backwards in order to achieve the same effect in the original film, this was definitely a step forward in for our hero. <laughs> which is not something that could be said for uh, the movie as a whole. Yeah. <laughs> also, remember when Superman could just reverse time by spinning around the planet? Yeah, it works somehow. <laughs> Electric Superman. Oh, oh, tell me this is from the... Yes, it's from the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. DC Superman editorial staff faced up an uphill battle in the late 90s. How were they supposed to replicate the massive success of the Death of Superman crossover? Especially now that the bottom had fallen out of the comic book spectacular market. Mm -hmm. Their solution was to give Superman his most significant and unloved power charge change forever. The hero morphed into an energy-based state, and the Electric Superman saga was born. I gotta see this. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yes! It's the blue and red versions! <laughs> <laughs> What's better than one Superman 2? <laughs> Electric Superman harkened back to the hero's many strange transformations during the Silver Age. The problem being that the storyline lacked the goofy charm of those old comics. And the status quo long overstayed its welcome. By the time Superman split into red and blue selves, flew away, and came back in his normal body, fans were too weary to even question things. <laughs> and that's the list. Yep. 
You just thought, you just thought the super dancing was nonsensical. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, oh, come on. Okay, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, which one here really? That's just unfair. Yeah. Uh, the grievous misuse of her. That's hilarious. That's <laughs> yes. my favorite right now. <laughs> just <laughs> I can shoot me <laughs> Spectacular. <laughs> but why? <laughs> he basically has Clayface's abilities. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> Well, considering you can restore the Great Wall of China just by looking at the damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> Control of his uh, mathematics is not... Yeah. <laughs> not a thing. <laughs> well, it's a thing, I yeah. think, obviously. I still think it's a useful thing on Superman. Yeah. No. <laughs> I well, look how it's a various. That means he might still be using the damn thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this should be a passive skill, if anything, for Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Passive, obviously active. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> Not useful in the slightest. Yeah. Active. Yeah. Godlike. Yeah. Ungodly. <laughs> yeah. One shot. Yeah. Both in power and in story. Yeah. Can you imagine this is like he shoots that through you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's had like a little mini Superman shot through you. And you're like, ow! <laughs> mini Superman, I choose you! <laughs> Super Amnesia Kiss. Okay, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Only Silver Age because <laughs> Implications. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he'd be able to get away with that these days. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not! But with that, though, we'll have to call the episode here. <laughs> so, write down in the comments which one of these powers amused you the most. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> All of them are fun. <laughs> but until next time, have a good one, guys. Dig it. See you later.